Hey guys, Darkovica here, and welcome to the start of the tutorials. So first off, right off the bat, we're going to set up our project for these tutorials. Uh, we're going to start with the new project button right here. As you can see, I have no projects here. And we're going to hit new project, and we're going to set up the name for our project, which in this case we're going to make, if I could spell, tutorial. And we're going to hit next. Now, what's important here is the, is the your initial decision of what you're trying to make. A visual novel obviously has a combination of images and text. This is typically what most people probably are using Visual uh, Tyranno Builder for. A sound novel relies on a majority of text and audio. So really, honestly, it just changes the way that your initial project is set up. All of this can be changed within your project. If you have a project and you decide halfway through that you want a sound novel, you don't have to create a brand new project. You can absolutely change it in the settings to make it look like a sound novel. It's very simple. All of this is just your initial setup. So let's go ahead and hit next. I'm going to leave this at default with landscape 960 by 640. This is pretty much a good idea unless you know exactly what you're going for, like an iPhone or if you're going for an app, then you can change your cut to custom size or if this works for you. I'm going to stick with the landscape default because that's what I'm going for. Uh, here on this page, we can choose it whether we want no title screen. So if a person clicks the game, it will automatically start up without a new game or a load game. And this will take out the menu button so that they can't save or load or access any other settings. Um, we're not going to click either of these. However, if your game project is follows either of these, you can go ahead and select them. It will not make that much of a difference. So let's go ahead and create our new project. It tells us we've done it. Hooray. And here is our default scene. So this is what it looks like when you first load up Tyranno Builder. Now there's a couple problems for us here in that default Tyranno Builder does not have all of the tools. So we're going to come up here to the right and we're going to hit this hammer. This hammer is, our, is, uh, is going to bring up the customized tool area. And you can see here how some of these are not selected. Now you may not need some of these. But I'm going to go ahead and bring in everything for the sake of the tutorials because I am going to need everything. And I can sort of, you know, eyeball this and see what I what I need. This one was gone and I think this one was not selected. And here we can see a bunch that are not selected. So we're going to go ahead and do this the easy way. Instead of just selecting all of them one by one, I just kind of go deselect, reselect, and it has everything. And bam, we're ready to go. Now you can see my tool set has all changed. Now we're going to do one last thing, and this is this is only required if you do not have your own art. We are going to pop into the asset library, and we're going to go ahead and shoot and go ahead and like download everything from the asset library. And by doing you can pretty much do this by sort of double clicking all of these and it's going to download them. And this is just if you do not have art, you can use these in lieu of having something to set up your tutorial project for. I am not going to use custom art. I'm going to use what these engine gives me so that we're all on the same page. So if you are doing this for the first time, oh wait, excuse me, there's another page. They give you a lot of stuff to work with, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'm just double clicking. I think you, I don't know if there's another way to do this. No, it just says double click to import assets, you know, like right there. Uh, and it's going to go ahead and download for you. And we're going to do one more thing after I get all of these downloaded. These are not in your project to begin with. Uh, so doing this is the only way to get these. Now, these characters include multiple facial expressions, which is very important. But yes, these are the um, characters that the engine gives you. I do not believe Tyranno Builder has any problem with you using the assets that they give you to make your game. However, I would look, I would sort of look that up. I've, I have not been able to find anything in their terms and conditions that says that you can't use these. Um, but yeah, there we go. So now we're all set and we can see our characters and everything they have to offer here under the characters menu. We have B-Chan, M-Kun, and you can see here we have all of these different facial expressions. P-Chan, these two look almost identical except for the eyebrows. And, um, yeah, and it just, you know, it goes on and on and we can see we delete characters, we can add characters, um... And then this is our save button, so we'll go ahead and save our project. Oops, saved it twice. It's fine. And this cog is our game settings. I'm not going to go over everything in depth. We're going to do that in different sections, like, you know, these menus, the help menus. Um, this is where you can find your basic Tyranno Builder, uh, like, their own tutorials that they've made, which are actually very helpful. So, you know, if you want more information, you can always look this up. 
Um, and then the you can get back to your project list from here. And bada bang, bada boom. We're all done. Good job, guys.